Alrighty folks, it's a nice host. Time for some more obscurity. Well, let's get into the quest book, which I forgot to open once again. I actually just had a, a driver, cr a video driver crash, so I had to restart the game. Anyway, long story short, things and stuff are happening. Um, couple things in here. So I've got bronze now, and I can make this bow. However, I'm going to make a crossbow anyway, so I'm not sure that there's any point. Uh, the other thing is, it doesn't say if it's a short bow or a long bow. And uh, with the, oh yes, my three forges now. Remember I made this one, but that didn't complete the quest. So then I made this one out of aluminum brass. Oh, and I'm getting pings. Um, made this one out of aluminum brass, and then it returned me that one and another one. Which is actually out of manillion. But you can't take it back apart, as far as I know. Oh, I wonder if you could put that in. You can't put that in there, can you? Let's see if it has a use. Yeah, well, you can turn it into that. But uh, anyway, the recipe for this has blocks of manillion in it. And it's so lovely. Anyway, so now I have all the tool forges. But anyway, uh, back to what I was saying. So I can make a long bow, and that looks like it's got that little centerpiece on it. Or I can make a short bow. And the icon in the quest book looks to me like the shorter one. But then it's got the little piece in the middle. So I don't know. I don't know which one it wants. Honestly, I'm thinking probably not even really worth it. Uh, the next thing is squeeze to make the juicer, which I've already done. Uh, but to get this done and get my reward bag, it wants me to squeeze 16 apple juice, juices, juicei. And I don't have 16 apples. The only apples I've been getting are from right there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this extra compact machine that we have to work. And we're going to jump in there. Should be a brand new one with nothing here. Yep. And let's put that down there. And then we can combine an apple with a sapling. And we get an apple sapling. Uh, so it's nice and bright. <laughs> Thank you. Nice and bright in here. Lots of light. This should grow. It should be plenty big for that to grow. And I think I'm just going to try to get some apples off of that. Kind of a temporary solution. I don't think I'm going to dedicate this entire compact machine just to apples but uh, I'll get enough uh, get an apple tree grown and get enough in there you know what why don't we just bone meal we got like tons of bone meal somewhere don't we here we go let's just make sure this is gonna work uh, out of this one come on there it goes little little lag hmm. anyway go back into here and let's see if we can bone meal you aha that's not bad so we got three, four, five, six, seven, seven apples. That's good. So if all those ripen, uh, that will be enough to complete the quest because I think I have ten, and uh, it wants sixteen. So there we go. Nice. All right. What's next on the list? Next on the list is where did my quest book go? Oh yeah. So I met a witch when I was downstairs digging, and it dropped a witch hat, and it says. Uh, all that was left of that nasty witch. I wonder if you could use it somehow. And any eye doesn't have any recipe for it or any uses for it. Uh, the only thing I can think right now is put it on my head and see if something happens. And I haven't done this yet because I want to do it on camera and see if anything crazy happens. So let's try it. No, nothing crazy. It doesn't look like a witch hat. It looks, it looks like a an Irish type hat or something? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what that's for. If anybody find, uh, knows what it is, let me know and uh, I'll check that out later. I also got a potion of healing from her, so I just left that in my inventory. All right. Uh, next thing I wanted to do is to make some more lava because we are just about completely out. And there was a quest for that. Let's go find it. Creamy lava. Yeah, so we can make magma creams. If I make four of them, it will give me four more apparently. Uh, and it basically says use luminite and slime to make the thing. But I just realized we have to do a different quest first because my crafting table is full. So uh, let's go back here real quickly. I set up to do survival generator. So surviving isn't easily. Luckily the survivalist generator is. Yes, it is quite easy. Uh, very basic power source, but uh, it will get you going. This thing is extremely efficient and uh, you know one one coal will just last for I don't know how long it will make a ton of power in here 
but it takes a really long time. So a real basic recipe, piston, furnace, blah, blah, blah. So I want to go ahead and get that one out of the way. And from that we get 16 coal and a reward bag. And I'm just going to pop that down right here for the moment. Uh, the other thing is once you... Um, yeah, so one coal lasts for 13 minutes in this thing. Whereas in normal generators, I think it's like two minutes or something. I, I don't remember. It's been a while. Uh, but yeah, this is going to take a long time to fill up, but uh, we'll just let that go. And eventually it will fill up, and I think it stores, what, half of them? Oh, 100,000. I thought it was more than that, actually, but 100,000 RF, so that's good. Um, that'll be nice to get started with, and you can pick it up and move it around, and it will retain the uh, charge, or at least it should. Um, but anyway, so we'll get that out of the way. Now let's go back to... What were we doing? Creamy lava, yes. Okay, so for creamy lava, we need gelatinous slime and luminite dust. Did I bring enough dust? Yes, I did. And absolutely, that makes magma creams. So let's turn this in. Turn in. I got four, and we need to claim that reward. Okay, and that gave us four more. Now, it didn't open up anything new, but that's all right. Uh, and it basically said if you put these in here, you will get lava. Now the lava will be in the tank and not in there. So I got actually I didn't think about that. How do you get the lava out of out of here? You know what? I think maybe you can do this. Let's try that. Let's get it going. Okay, so while that's going on, let me just tell you what 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 I've really been working on and this took longer than I expected honestly what is this armor yeah okay um, I wanted to make a hammer and I just unlocked this quest to make an all aluminite hammer uh, alumite not aluminum uh, alumite hammer and this took actually a really long time so alumite is uh, five aluminum two obsidian and two iron and I had plenty of iron I got those two stacks of obsidian so I didn't have to worry about trying to make obsidian but uh, the aluminum I needed like three or four rounds of this so I need a lot more aluminum than I had and uh, I I did a lot of mining this guy was down to like five durability it's, been, it's repairing itself pretty well now so 800 we're getting getting back up there um, and yes that needs an upgrade too it's still a flint pickaxe I almost want to just keep it as a flint pickaxe because it's so ridiculous how powerful it is as flint, but uh, whatever. Okay, let's see. Yep, there's the lava. Let's see if we can put that on the bottom. Oh, actually, that is one way to make um, obsidian is if you put lava and water in your smeltery, you, it will turn into obsidian. Let's see if this works. I think it works. And there are bad things outside. What are, what are we going to get here? Yeah! And then it gets sucked into here because I've got that turned on. All right, so uh, there's a slime on the roof and whatever. So yeah, lava, cool. All right, uh, let me go ahead and pop that back in there for the moment and look at the next. You know, let's take care of this slime. He's he's bothering me. Come here, slime. You too, spider. Of course, the interdiction torch keeps keeps them at bay. Oh, and this little Enderman killing spot is uh, really been working out well. I got a couple more ender pearls. I think I killed like three or four more um, endermen in since last time we were what I recorded. So let's see, we got some zombie yeah alright. That's alright. The the important annoying stuff is gone. So or not important but oh but annoying stuff is gone. So let's get to the next one. Uh yeah so alumina uh, <laughs> Alumite. So we need one tough rod, two large plates, and a hammerhead. And we have all that stuff. Uh, let's get the... Well, I'm just not seeing. There we go. There's the hammerhead. There's the large plate. And the tough rod. And I, again, spent a good amount of time uh, going out and getting aluminum and, and just digging and I now have 30 which I believe is enough for all the pieces we need so let's get a tool rod and maybe I'll cut this short because it actually will take a little bit of time for uh, these bigger ones to pour and um, solidify
and crash again. Anyway, uh, looks like, yep, here we go. Alright, I think we've got all the pieces now. Alumite, 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 all the Alumite. Um, quest book will have to, oh, I already did that, yeah. Uh, okay, quest book, detect the things. We have all of that, and we're going to get 16 cobalt out of that. Like I said, I don't know if there even is another. I don't think there is, so this might be like all the cobalt we get. I have no idea. All right, claim the reward. We got 16 cobalt. Is there a recipe for this? Oh, yeah, okay, more no nether needed, nether gate thingy something or other. I don't know how to do that yet, but we'll, we'll figure that out. All right, back to where we were. Uh, so I just turned in this one. It did not open anything else up, but that's okay, because really the whole point of this was to get the hammer. Um, been wanting to do, well, I did a lot of mining already, but I've been wanting to do some uh, hammer mining, and uh, yeah, now we can do it. So, cool. Uh, that's it. Anything else? I could name it. Yeah, whatever. Alright, we have a cool hammer of justice, or hammer of power, or hammer of something. Um, all right, let's open up these reward bags, and then I'm going to go and mine all the things. Hmm. 16 more item conduits. I may never have to make those in, in this pack at all. And <laughs> 16 more item conduits. So yeah, 1.4% chance to get them. Um, all right, well, we got 32 more of those. A, witchery ha a witch hat. I don't know what to do with it. Uh, some cobalt, which is good because until we get a mini portal, however you get that, we um, we can't do things. All right, did we unlock anything new? Doesn't look like it. Uh, I did unlock the Thomic Revolution a while ago. Not ready to get started on Thomcraft yet, but uh, we will soon. What I want to do is get my crossbow done, which you talked about last episode. Uh, do a little bit more mining, get this guy skilled up a little bit. Now, does he start with... Oh, he does start with a modifier, so I could put auto repair or something like that on it right away. Although it does have 3,000 durability, so... Um, oh, wait, that's XP. It's got 8,000 durability. Yeah. So, uh, anyway. Alright, I'm going to do uh, mining and getting some other stuff set up and harvest the tree and all that stuff. And I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. All right. Actually, before I go mining, I'm going to finally do the gearing up for travel task um, because some of the stuff it gives you is actually going to be helpful for mining. So let's do this real quickly. It looks pretty easy. It looks like it's just bronze, bronze, gold, gold, and the ender pearl. So that gives us um, traveler's wings, which give you the high jump ability. And see there, it says protection eight percent. That's uh, that's where you want to look to see how much protection these things give you. All right, so it has detected that we get boots, vest, goggles, a reward bag. Oh, and pick one. Well, that's actually what I wanted. I was thinking it was all up here, um, but that's just leather. So that's super easy to make. The belt is pretty easy. I think it's just leather and something. This, on the other hand, uh, this guy. Let me show you the recipe for that. I'm going to claim it. Let's see if that opened anything. Nope. Alright, good. We got that done. And this guy takes uh, miniature hearts that drop off mobs. I've got a few of those. But then, And this is just aluminum. But then it takes necrotic bones, which you can only get from wither uh, skeletons. And a jeweled apple, which takes... Oh, it's not as bad. Alright. Four, four uh, diamonds around <laughs> an apple. So, yeah, that's uh, probably a little more useful than the other ones. Alright, so we're going to take put that on there. And that should give us one new heart. One, one, there it goes, very slowly. Slowly filling in there. Alright, cool. So we've got one extra heart now. Um, you can see the belt actually goes here and the little glove goes here. And I'm going to make probably both of those off camera because uh, I can definitely use those. But just to look over these. So you get high jump with that. You can zoom uh, with the goggles. And there's something else they do, I forget what. Uh, swift swim and high step. So you can step up one tall blocks here. Let's just put all this on for a second. Come on. Shift click all the things. And get that going. Uh, and what I want to show you is it actually shows you we have 10 shirts of armor right now. It shows you diamond level protection. That's not true. Uh, this armor actually uses um, 
an old style of using those shirts and it actually means that uh, it's fully repaired. It's not that it has full full durability or uh, full armor. Uh, now the armor on this is also well by <laughs> also dependent on how much um, how much durability it has. So in a, indirectly, it sort of does. Uh, oh hey, Enderman, get him! Come here! Yeah, come on! You know you want to come play. Uh, so it does sort of indirectly relate to how much armor there is, but not the way you would think. Give me, give me your Ender Pearl and stop making all the noise. So loud. Uh, hi, Steve. You did not have an Ender Pearl, liar. Dire Wolf. Well, yeah, that that would be Steve. Hi, Dire Wolf. Oh, you picked up the um, zombie head. <laughs> okay. Well, there's that. Um. So anyway, yeah, one, one block step assist. So I can just push forward, walk right over that. No big deal. I got a high jump. I think it's only two blocks. Um. Uh, two and a half maybe yeah that's about two blocks so I can't get on this that's three blocks tall but I can get on the two block tall uh, but that's good and it also means that I can now easily jump over this fence without having to search out uh, my little access points and stuff so that's cool let's try the zoom uh, it's supposed to be Z oh yeah it does work in 1.7 nice so we get a decent little zoom uh, effect there we can look out into the distance and see what's going on Oh yeah, by the way, I wanted to mention, I noticed uh, at some point that there are vines growing all over this thing. So when we get to a point where we need some vines, I know where to get them. Oh, and we did get the bronze shears, so I guess I could do that now. But I, but I don't have a need for vines at the moment. Um, what else? So high jump, you know, swimming, whatever. Uh, zoom. What is G? Goggle abilities. Oh, I know. Oh, I'll have to go get the thing. Probably doesn't show a use, does it? No. So there's there's ways to enhance this. We can get double jump, we can get slow fall, and in particular these guys can get night vision. Which could be extremely helpful in a super dark area, dark world. Although night vision you always run the, pro the problem that you're walking around, it looks like it's nice and light, and it's not. So you might start getting yourself killed by the darkness. I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and just... Wow, so many pings today. Sorry, guys. I think I captured a couple of them on while I was recording. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and do that. We're going to open up our good reward bag and and get grass blocks. Okay. Super helpful. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, so that's it for now. Uh, well, let me just one last time. So if I take any one of these pieces, let's take like feet, which is normally the least amount of protection. If you put that on, you're gonna, it's going to show you two and a half shirts, and each one of these is going to show another two and a half, and another two and a half, and um, goggles, and another two and a half. But again, that's not actual protection like normal armor shows at the moment. That's actually the durability of uh, the armor. So when it's fully protected, it shows diamond level. Uh, fully protected, fully repaired. It shows like diamond level, but um, it, it's not diamond level. It's actually whatever this is, 10% eight, so 18, 22, 28%, something like that. So not uh, not nearly as good as you might think. I think it's close to leather armor, but it's got some really cool abilities. So we're gonna want at least some of these pieces. Okay. Oh yeah. Last thing. So this guy has finished. And uh, he's full, and you might notice it's only taken two coal. In fact, it didn't actually even take two to two coal. Uh, it took one and a half or one and some amount of the second one. And I noticed it was already full, and that second one was still going for its 20 minutes or whatever the frick it was. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how long this episode is. I've been cutting in and out. I guess this is, yeah, there's probably more time. So let me go get to mining like I said I was going to do, like I wanted to do. And I'm going to upgrade this pickaxe too. I won't bother to record that because, again, right now I have to use the iron one to get the higher level stuff. So I will go ahead and pour off a, uh, I don't know, a lumite or something head for it and uh, do some mining. So I'll catch up with you guys after that. All right, looks like we just got a few more minutes for this episode, but uh, I did a few things and uh, have a few quests to turn in, so I want to do that all on camera.
Uh, you might also notice there's a death marker over there. Um, while I was digging, see 175 meters away, so I was down there digging quite a ways. Um, d d d d d <laughs> the world generation in the Underdark has uh, like a bunch of holes and pits and stuff. So there aren't like big caves. But anyway, long story short, I'm digging along and I dug out a block above my head and I looked away and started going for the next block when I heard um yeah. So a creeper saw me through there, walked down or you know, walked one block over, fell directly on my head and blew me up before I even knew what was going on. Uh that was that was pretty um yeah. Didn't expect that. Anyway, let's do some oh yeah, another thing. Um I think we have a chicken now. So a chi where are you? There you are. Uh a chicken zombie, zombie chicken, whatever it is. Uh the zombie riding the chicken showed up. So I killed the zombie and the chickens actually got over the fence. Uh there was a spot where I had a uh problem with the fence and he actually just jumped right in and I said, oh, "Okay, fine." So I brought him into the house and I'm hoping he'll lay eggs, but he has not yet. So I don't know. Don't know what's up with that. Uh, but anyway, we'll just let him hang out there and uh, do some stuff. So let's see. Oh, I didn't even look at this. Creating cobble. Okay. Uh, cobblestone ain't pretty, but it's useful. Uh, it can be used. Yes, sand, glass, and all right. So cobble gen. Good. If you had a transfer node, world upgrade. Yep. Okay. So we can do that. Make a cobble gen. Uh, I actually have stacks and stacks and stacks of cobble already from digging with the uh, the hammer but yeah having an actual cobble gen and feeding into into pulverizers and all that is a good deal so uh we may end up doing that here in the future uh hungry generator oh this is the one that yeah culinary generator this one actually eats food and uh it will give us some food to feed it i guess uh but anyway what i wanted to do was finish off the squeeze uh recipe, quest, whatever it is, and I forgot to bring the squeezer, so, well, the juicer, so uh, let's go farm. Um, yeah, I brought the apples, but I forgot I would probably need the juicer as well as the apples. All right, so, yeah, the apple tree and that other dimension, or compact machine is working great. We're going to squeeze these up, get that turned in, and rewards, strawberry juice, melon juice, and reward bag. Claim. That sounds a little loud, but whatever. All right, I don't actually need any juice at the moment, so let's just put you in there, and we'll put Mr. Juicer back. Mr. That was a thing, wasn't it? Mr. Mr. Smoothie? Mr. Juicer? Hmm. Anyway, uh, we're going to open a basic reward bag and get item ducks. Cool. I don't have any. I wait. Oh, these are the. Th okay, so we've gotten. Uh, Thermal dynamics or thermal, whatever, thermal expansion uh, um, item ducks as well as the, come on, as the uh, Ender IO conduits uh, now. So there you go with that. Uh, where, where, where? There. Okay. You know what? Let's do this. Let's put, let's make a wall of heads in here. So I got Nevers' head, and now there's my head next to it. So, yep, there's my first death. Uh, we still have, actually it'll tell us right here, won't it? Yeah, 16 lives left, so we're doing fine. Not too concerned about the lives, but, uh, yeah, that was, that was, that was a little frustrating. Actually, I, I managed to just walk right back over there and get my stuff, so it was not a big deal other than it cost a life. Uh, alright, so is that the end of the thing? Oh no, now you want toast. All right, toast. Hmm, uh, <laughs> Johnny loves his Vegemite. <laughs> you may not, but it doesn't look like you have much of a choice. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you can just basically cook bread, and it becomes toast. Uh, and you can cook the dough, and it becomes bread. So I've got the bread. I'll cook it twice, get some toast, and get some Vegemite. Not a super exciting quest, but there you go. Uh, that would be those those. Well, it's peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but peanut butter and whatever uh, Vegemite in this case is actually pretty darn good food um, and if we had hunger overhaul I might actually care about that but uh, yeah okay I wanted to show you guys this yeah so I'm stuck on both of these I wanted to make a crossbow 
Well, I can make a crossbow right now, but I wanted to finish this and turn it in, and I can't. Um, you know what? I guess that's true. I could actually just make the crossbow ignore this quest. Uh, it wants bowstring, which is easy, a bronze plate, which is easy, and then it wants two slime bow limbs, and they are green. And I don't have any green slime. I made up the blue ones because I thought, well, let me just try, because they're still called slime bow limb, but I didn't expect it to work, and it doesn't. So uh, I have to figure out a way to get green slime, and to do the arrows to get these lovely Manulian arrowheads, which I really do want, uh, I have to come up with, well, I can make the blue slime fletching, but I have to come up with cactus. And I don't think we have any cactus yet. I, well, I, look, I looked around a bit, and we don't appear to have any cactus. Um, yeah, one more thing. Okay, so I've, I have been wearing the um, boots and the wing, wings or legs, whatever, so I can get this nice high jump and the uh, one step step up assist, one block step up. And they are taking a little bit of damage, so what I wanted to show you guys is you can upgrade these just like uh, you can upgrade Tinker's Tools. But you do it in a Tinker Table, not in the Forge like the other ones. And one of the things, of course, we can put on there is Moss. That will keep these guys um, fully repaired and full protection. Because you see right now it says protection 7.9%. Uh, the way these work is the more damage they take, the less protection they give you. And as I already mentioned, they actually only give you like leather-ish protection. Maybe a little more than leather, I forget. Anyway, so there we go. We're gonna just put the old auto repair on those two. And uh, those should get themselves fixed up over time here. I'm not sure, yeah, okay, there it goes. I was gonna say, I'm not sure we get a whole lot of repair here in the Underdark, because these usually work best in sunlight, I think it was. Um, so we might might be better off to actually go into one of the compact machines to do that. All right, is that it? Oh, no, one more. All right. One more to turn in. I think that's going to do it. I had made the invar a while ago and never turned it in. So I poured off a block of invar. We have an unclaimed reward. Let's get that. Invar fishing rod. Okay, so we can go fishing. And I think that one has more uh, durability than a regular fishing rod, but... <laughs> okay. Oh, I wonder if I can fish the... Oh, that's right, it hurts them, doesn't it? Stand, stand still. No, it doesn't hurt you. <laughs> now he's running away from me. Come here, chicken. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. You just get mad about it. Uh, well, sort of. That doesn't really do much of anything. All right. Whatever. I, yeah, so I guess I can fish uh, zombies or something now if I really want to. Uh, all right, let's see what the next thing it wants us to do uh, is. Yet, not yet invarnable. <laughs> uh, with double the protection, it will be a good idea to get yourself a set of invar armor. Double the protection of what? Bronze? No, that's not true. We get ourselves a battle wrench of just a, or uh, yeah anyway. And what's this? Dark fusion. That's going to be the Ender I O. Yeah, dark steel. Okay, so dark steel is extremely useful and powerful compound. It can be used for many different items, from tools and armors or processing. Yes, if we're doing any Ender I O, which we will be, uh, we definitely need dark steel for sure. But uh, not today. I think that's it for today, folks. Um, uh, we did this one. Oh, I'll just mention mention this because I'm probably going to do it off camera. Uh, Dev Null is kind of a cool little thing. Basically, you put something in it like cobblestone, and then uh, when you're digging, it will fill this up to 64, one full stack. And then all the other cobblestone you pick up just goes to Dev Null, which is a computer thing. It's a programming thing. Dev Null is a place where you put things that just disappear and never uh, never come back. So uh, basically it's a way of mining lots of cobblestone in particular and having it just kind of uh, disappear from the world without having to deal with multiple stacks of cobblestone in your inventory. Alright, so I'll make that one. These two are stuck on. I think, well, now, now that I've got some armor, I've got the jump assist, we've got the gl glider and all that stuff, um, I think next episode we're going to go exploring and try to get to, where is it, the market, it's 100 meters away, that shouldn't be too hard, 
and where'd it go? There it is. Ice thingy is 150. And you might notice the death marker is sort of over that direction. So I actually dug all the way over to Ice Thingy. I didn't go check it out, but I dug to it and I see where it's going to be. Uh, so I can either go overland or I can go uh, through the mining tunnels. And I might do that just to kind of show you where I dug. Alright, I think that's it for right now, folks. Hope you all enjoyed the episode. We'll see you next time. I'll catch you later.